guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, we are here for the 30 paintings in 30 days project. We are going to do study painting number 18. We are still working on skyscapes. So let's get started, shall we? Alrighty, we're gonna get out our half inch flat brush as per usual. And I am going to, hmm, I'm looking at these this page of photos here that all have like bright sun coming through the sky, which I wanna do something inspired by that. This is gonna be challenging because I think I wanna try practicing something I'm not very good at, which is leaving white space. I kind of suck at that. I need to stand my books up first. There we go. Okay, so I, I suck at that, but this is probably good practice, right? So we're gonna just use sort of the colors that are on the palette here. I'm gonna add a little bit more um, blue, cerulean blue. Oh, that was a lot. That was just a little bit. What is that? That's Van Gogh cerulean blue. Look what that did. <laughs> wow. That really blued it up a lot. Let's add a little bit of the inky color back in and a little bit of brown. And if you hear my phone going off, in the, I mean my computer dinging in the background, sorry that some people are, um, hang on one second. Okay, it might still ding in the background, but I think it's calmed down for just a minute. So we're gonna take this sort of turquoisey blue color I created here and we're gonna I don't know if this is gonna work but we're gonna we're gonna try it I'm gonna put a little bit on and I'm gonna get my brush wet and blend that blend them out I'm probably going to need to go back with um, the whiteout pen, <laughs> more than likely, because y'all know I'm, I kind of suck at leaving white space, so. Again, you know, when you're working from these inspiration photos, you're inspired by them to create something, a painting, but you're not necessarily locked into trying to duplicate the, the picture exactly. We are artists and painters, we are not photographers. If you want an exact picture of that beautiful baby, then that's what you would do, take a picture. <laughs> not necessarily do a painting, so. I just kind of like the starbursty look of this sun setting. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it justice or not, or create something interesting from it, but we'll see. We're going to find out. So far, it's not looking too bad. You could really do this with any color. I am, of course, inspired by the actual sort of blues that are on the painting because the sky, but you could do it with any color. And so we're gonna just do this and we're gonna add our color here and add some water. And then we're gonna go around the edge here with the same color. You'll notice I haven't done what I usually do. I have not grabbed the heat tool to dry anything. I know, right? That's shocking. I'm having fun with this single color, playing with pigment, creating the shape or a suggestion of the shape I see in the inspiration photos. Sometimes it's not about anything more complicated than that. Seeing where 
the paint is gonna go playing with the water. And you know what? I like that just the way it is. Let's get okay, it. Okay, let's go. pull the tape. I really like where this one went. It was very simple, very quick, an interesting shape. It bled a little bit under the tape, but that's okay. These are painting studies. That doesn't want to tear, there we go. And they are really not meant to be more than that, but if you really liked this and you liked the way where it went and you wanted to take this and expand on it and create a larger painting from that, I think that's a great idea. So anyway, that's painting number 18. Speed fruit through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.